Are young modern women wife material? What are the things you do now that you feel like would make you a good wife? I cook, clean, all that in between. <laughs> but I like um, like creating new things. Like, I like coming up with new things, like going on adventures. I'm real spontaneous, so like I just don't like to be boring. So whatever is not boring, I'm with that. I told you I don't want that ugly ring. You keep asking me. I'm not playing. Take it back. Get your money back. What's I don't wrong want it. with the ring? I don't want it. You are a selfish, cold-hearted, horrible human being. This right is now. a real diamond ring. I don't want that ugly ass ring. Oh, the ring though, bro. Like I, I worked said, hard. What else do I have to do? I mean, I told you the ring that I wanted. I don't want that. Look at but, it. It's not. It's not my style. I don't like it. I'm not gonna wear it. If you really love me, it don't, it don't, if you really love me, bro, it wouldn't matter about the ring, I bro. I don't want that. I told you what I wanted. I showed you the picture. The links. I mean, I gave you everything you needed. You could have just went and bought that ring. You ain't getting shit. I would say every girl I know right now wants a man who is masculine and a leader. And obviously that comes with like asserting dominance and all these things. And all these women want this. But then no women want to listen. So they want the leader, but then they're not going to listen. You can't handle the truth because it really comes down to like not listening to them is not only just extremely demasculating to them it's like so why would they want to be with you they would go be with a woman who's more feminine and like willing to listen i'm afraid she has a point it's like when you're doing the whole feminine you know new wave feminism girl boss i don't listen to anyone then that's okay there's a reason why the statistics are saying that all you guys are going to be single and unmarried oh! Gents, welcome to TSG Uncut. I am your host, Sean C. On this channel, we talk about the struggles with dating and relationships all the time. Recently, we've shown the struggles in the black community, but this is an issue with all modern American women. But today, I want to focus on young women. They are supposed to be the future mothers and wives, but will these same young women destroy the future of families? I'll leave that for you to decide. With that being said, let's get started. I've been going on dates for the past two weeks. When I say I'm not satisfied, this what the fuck I got to choose. When you take me on a date, you open up my fucking door. Hell no! You open up the door, you pull out the char if it's a char, and you cut my fucking steak if it's a steak. I'm always gonna order a steak to see if you got some fucking home training, ho. If you take a female on a date, she order a steak, you cut it. It's not going to happen. Be the gentle man. You trying to gently touch on this ass. Do the work. Do the work. We're going on multiple dates. You want some ass from me? We're going on multiple dates. We putting in effort. Bitch, we doing what we got to do to get some ass. No, I won't be doing that. So what's your type? Um, NFL or NBA players. NFL or NBA players? Are you, are you serious? So they got to be like minimum like 6'4 or some sh Oh, yeah. So what would you what would you rate yourself? Myself? I would rate myself like a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Okay. That people get a 360, they, don't, they rarely see 10 out of 10s out of here. I say like if you were like in the NFL draft, I probably say you about to go like third round pick. My nigga. <laughs> I seen this TikTok where this girl was like, oh, before you text first, remember there's somebody in his phone who didn't have to. That whole shit made me itch. I ain't never delete a message so damn fast. You, you, ain't nobody about to hear from me just because of that lady. Ain't nobody about to hear shit. What's a red flag in a guy? A red flag in a guy is when he doesn't pay for your meals. And sit down and shut up. And why do you think so? I just think that we deserve a little bit better and that my meals should be paid for by my boyfriend. Would you want him to pay for all the meals? Absolutely. So you want the more masculine male figure? Yes, I do. And then what would you bring to the table if he's paying for all the meals? I would bring my personality, my good looks, my amazing creativity. I would bring how I'm a great girlfriend. So many other things. I don't believe you. You telling me you want me, right? Like, how much you trying to spend? Not a damn thing. You had to ask me that question. So that's already rule number one. You done broke. You feel me? You didn't just let it happen to you. For the right person, for you the right, right girl. Though. She don't got to pay for anything. Spit it. Yeah, as long as she stays it. in her feminine, does what she needs to do. I agree, though. As my girl, I agree. She don't got to pay for anything. I agree, I agree with one. Shut up, bitch! Where should a man take you for a first date? The most expensive place ever. Yes, that's your answer. That's your answer to everything. Take me to the Louis Vuitton store. Yeah, take me Louis to Vuitton. Louis Vuitton? No, Chanel. Ten thousand dollar bag. Let's get it. Hell no. Then I know you mean business. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're not messy with no broke man. Broke man are so last year. Where's my 
Range Rover. Would you yeah. take a girl to the Louis Vuitton store? Sure. And buy her something? No, I'm not yeah. buying y'all If you met a guy that was pretty attractive and he pulled out an Android phone to get your number, would that make him less attractive? A bit. Yeah. It would? Yeah, but like, I'm not being ignorant. It's just my preference. Like, I, I can't text you in green. I'm not gonna like automatically like cut you or anything, but yeah. you're less attractive because of the Android. We don't care about you. What's your age? 24. 26. What do you look for in a man? Paper. It's a damn shame. Why are you so interested in a man's money? I mean, he has to be like, you know, taking care of me. Being that you both live in LA, how much would you expect him to make? Um, at least enough to take care of me. <laughs> he doesn't have to be like a rich, but I know. he does enough. have to. So dollar figure wise, what does that look like to you? We're kind of pricey. <laughs> so let's say I was your man and I was taking care of you. What would you do for me if I'm paying for everything? Um, sit at home, cook, clean. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I'd get in return. What else do you want? That's bullshit. Bitches cheat. They all cheat. Whether it's like in a picture, Deleting and texting, all bitches cheat. What they do is that they gather up all these niggas that they think could be a replacement of you on their Instagram following list. And they start to like pictures and send them messages. But tell you the truth, as soon as you get to arguing with that bitch, she's texting her ex nigga. I'm not surprised. Because that bitch is busy working on her magic so that she doesn't seem like a whack ass bitch. Not sitting at home crying, she's texting that nigga how much she love him and miss him. Tell me something out of pocket. Cheating is not that bad. Anybody can fuck somebody else. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, you can do so much for you. Who hurt you? What's your part, man? That you're only a if people find out about it. Because if nobody knows you're a then you get no credibility. Because I had a giant glowing dick on my face, so that was... Wait, what? what? Would you guys cheat for $100? Would I cheat for... All right. Probably, yeah. Somebody! Go ahead! Somebody! Explain! Justify it! You're for real? I'm being for real. Why? I mean, it's a, a hundred uh, is a hundred. Cheat to cheat. Dude, you're not marrying the guy. How do you know? You're not marrying him. Obviously, if you want to cheat, that means you're not marrying him. If a person wants to cheat, perhaps they shouldn't be with that person in the first place. Hello? Hey, can, can we talk for a sec? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's up? Um, I know we've been through ups and downs, but I still really have feelings for you. <laughs> you're joking. No, what like... Am I, just, am I just supposed to overlook the fact that you fucked my dad? Fuck you. Damn! You know, or click it and you like this person. They got a lot of traits that you like and you get along really well. The only thing that you find out later in a relationship, now you are already at least a year in, the thing that you find out is that <clears throat> maybe back in the day she had a train ran on her by people that you knew. Would that change how you felt about her? You damn right. It says read the caption. Hold on, let me go find it. Congratulations to our cashier Rachel and her fiance Paul Buckman on their baby cash Jamal Buckman. Yes, Paul is the father. Rachel has African American DNA in her. I bet she did. Uh, which can skip generations and cause a child to be born with darker skin. The baby is also discolored because it has jaundice or something probably. Oh. My name is Rachel. I can't wait to get to these comments. To the comments. Congrats, Congrats to all. <laughs> or something, probably. Congrats to the both dads. <laughs> to mom for working together to achieve one go. Uh uh. So sweet, she named him after <laughs> both the daddies. Uh, see you soon on more. <laughs> I'm studying genetics. What did I mean? <laughs> Someone said jaundice turns out yellow. This <laughs> This time Ross <laughs> It turns you bro. Why are you taking your phone to the bathroom? Because I'm gonna listen to music. You never listen to music when you shower. Yes, I Stop do. the cap. Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! Yes, Who I the do. fuck are you gonna message? Babe, I'm literally gonna shower and listen to music. No, you don't. Give me your fucking no. phone. You pay for my phone bill? No. no, I don't think so. So you don't have the right to say shit to me about I my I don't phone. give a fuck. I'm your boyfriend. Okay, then stop talking then. Is it disrespectful if your boyfriend likes other girls' bikini pictures? Fuck yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay, do you post bikini pictures? I do post bikini pictures. Okay, so you can't like other girls' bikini pictures? Nah, absolutely not. Is that not disrespectful to him? Oh, uh, well, I'm a girl and he's a guy, so I guess it's different. Do you trust your man around other women? Yes. Yeah. Do you trust other women around your man? 
No. No. If women don't even trust other women, why would they expect a man to trust women? Gotcha, bitch. I just feel like women do it because they're insecure, so they want to see, like, if the guy will leave their girlfriend yeah. for them. That's not better. More often than not, of all the relationships that you've had, do you end the relationship or does the guy? I've ended every single relationship. What about you? I've also ended every single relationship. How many relationships have you been in? Three. What about you? Three. What about you? Mostly me. How many relationships have you been in? Four. Five. What about you? I've ended them all, I think like five. I've ended them all and I've only been in two. What about you? Five or six and only once has somebody else ended the relationship. What about you? 75% me, eight or nine relationships. Four relationships and I've ended all of them. Ended all three. Whoa. <laughs> A typical complaint I hear from women is, why are men so commitment focused? Why are men scared of commitment? Why don't men want to get married? All of you, it's almost unanimous, have ended all of your relationships. Once something? you get commitment, you overwhelmingly okay, end. Can I up to go to clubs full of men? No. No, men line up to go to clubs full of women, right? Yes. Okay, so then doesn't that prove that if you control the women, you also control the men, you get them to show up and buy drinks and spend money? Yeah. yeah. So women are more likely to influence the behavior of men, right? Yeah, I guess in that industry, I guess. Okay. Women often want to fix or change men's behavior. Do you think it's possible to change men's behavior without first changing women? No. No. We've just yeah. established the, pres the premise that uh, women influence men's behavior, right? Yeah, okay. so I guess... So is it true that men are assholes because women date assholes? Yes. Yeah. So do women, have the right sure. to do women have the right to complain about men being assholes when they're enabling that behavior? Yes. No, do I don't think Wait, so. Why do you say... Why? Why? Because if you're enabling it, then it's stupid. You're just bringing on more problems, more yeah, shitty men. Okay. What's your boyfriend's most toxic trait? So it's actually kind of funny. Um, he'll say this thing to me all the time. He'll be like... I'm not your boyfriend and I'll be like yes you are silly and then he'll say to me he's like no I'm not you seriously are delusional you need to stop it's getting ridiculous you keep violating the restraining order he filed a restraining order by the way it's so funny it was such a good joke um but yeah no uh you know I love him either way he's my boyfriend he's my boyfriend we're together we're happy you're crazy you know that Gents, particularly you younger men, you gotta be careful about who you let in your life. It feels easy when you're with a woman that you like to want to do for that woman. But if you are putting more attention into her than she's putting into you, if you are doing for her more than she's doing for you, she's probably playing you. A woman who is really interested in you is going to reciprocate what you are giving to her. And what you don't want to do is to find yourself in that dreaded friend zone. Because once you're in it, you never really get out of it. And if you do get out of it, chances are you're the guy that she settled for. You guys have a guy in a friend zone right now on your phone. Yes. Okay, call him up right now and ask him to hook up. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I am going out in Venice, I think. In Venice? Why don't you come back to Hermosa? Oh, really? Well, yeah, like, if you just, like, want to hook up later, like, that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, I would love to, like... <laughs> How many guys do you have in your friend zone? Approximately three. <laughs> Sarah. Probably like 10 or 11. 10 or 11. The guys go out the way for y'all. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Yeah, You're they right. go out the way for y'all. Y'all could easily hit up a n and he'll send you 40 for cash out. All y'all can get 40 right now for... <laughs> Matter of fact, we about to try it. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> well, go on. Call him. Let's see. All right, let's call this one. Yes, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I got a quick favor. I was oh, wondering... you calling me. I thought you missed me. Why did you do that? Of <laughs> course. You know I miss you. Is there any uh, way 
I could get like eighty dollars from you. I mean, yeah. All right. I, can, can I sell it to you? That's four hundred. That's four hundred. Could you do a hundred? And then I'll explain later. Yeah, but uh, Zell, Zell is fine because I don't have cash. Okay. All right. Thank you. So go ahead, call them. Hello. Yeah. Um, I need to ask you something. Can you send me a hundred? On Zell. Yeah. All right. Thank you. How long you been your friend for? Like a year or two. Had him in friend zone? Yeah. And you know he want the box. And he probably do, but he, he's like a loser. Oh, I don't. He like a, he like a what? Go ahead. I say forgot we're on the podcast. No. <laughs> hey, there's certain He a loser. No, 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 no. Nigga, watch this right now. She said you're a loser. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all niggas in a friend zone, bro. That sunset's just. <laughs> what is that dark thing going to say? They respect ya. Women are way less committed to relationships than men. And this is why marriages are falling apart. Roughly 70% of divorces are initiated by women. They are willing to throw the towel in sooner. And the Nazis will try to convince you that women do this because of men. Because for them, the equation is always men equals evil. Now, imagine if we took men out of the equation entirely. Oh wait, we don't have to imagine that at all. We have that data. We have the divorce rates for lesbian couples. Lesbians have the highest divorce rates in the country. Country. It turns out that if you have twice the women in a relationship, you also have twice the chance of divorce. Gents, let me know in the comments below what you thought about today's video, and I'll come down there and join you. And you're going to want to check out this video right here. It is going to keep the conversation going, and I promise you, you're going to enjoy it.